Okay guys, we're back finally with the finale of Emily is away. She has been away for so long, you guys. She has not even made an appearance in the past two parts of this series. So I don't even know if she's gonna be coming back in this final part. You know what, to be honest, I don't even know what's gonna happen in this final part because in the last part, um, I decided to get a little toxic. Just, just a little, we were just a little toxic. Just for drama, just for drama, just for entertainment. But listen, I, I'm done being toxic. We got Evelyn out of our lives and we're done being toxic now. But for real, I, I don't know what that means for this next part. So let's find out how this series ends. Oh my God. Oh my, okay, let's see what happened. Summer 2009. Wow, oh, do you remember summer 09? Summer 2009 is maybe like the most iconic year of my life. That is exactly when I started my YouTube channel. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, do you see that? Oh, oh, I'm freaking out right underneath that. I didn't even notice till just now. Evelyn is now in a relationship with Steve. Oh my God, you guys, honestly, I don't even care that I was toxic in the last part now. Were, were we not right? Were we not right about what was going on between them? Cause they're dating now. Wow. Wow. Okay, Matthew wrote on your wall, yo, last day of high school, can you believe it? We did it. We all knew you would, but me, come on. Fuck it, no date, but I'm still doing prom. Is that me? When did my hair get like, I'm like, it's like crazy. It's spiking in all different directions. Medusa vibes. <laughs> really let go of yourself after Evelyn. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh my, it's really going all over the place. No hairbrush today. Okay, Evelyn posted three photos. Let's see. What the hell? Is that Steve? Steve right outside of Evelyn's limo. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, I have... I have absolutely no regrets about being toxic because look at this. Prom was like the day after we broke up and here she is in the crowd doing the middle school grind. The 2009 middle school grind. I love my friends. Okay, friends, all right. Throwing her ass back on Steve and everything. I know. And then calling him, calling him a friend. And we haven't even started yet. So let's get in. <laughs> cool game. Looks like we graduated. We f***ing did it. Uh, look at my hair, you guys. Look at my hair. I did not even brush my hair for graduation. It's giving electrocution. <laughs> oh, what? oh my God, did we really go gay? It kind of looks like we went gay. Here I am holding Matt. This is cute. Gay rights. Let's see what else is going on. Matt wants to go on a trip with us. Steve Dreyer tagged Evelyn in three photos. Looking good in shutter shades. <laughs> oh! Oh, what the hell is this? You my girl, girl. What the hell is this? And then right after that, Evelyn is now in a relationship with Steve. Literally less than an hour later. Evelyn is alive and won't apologize. Okay. And then what's this? Anna McKinley wrote on your wall, hey, I kind of want to get something special for a certain someone on a certain day, but I need ideas. Oh, it's not me, it's Matthew. I was about to say, who's this? And is she getting something for me? But then I look over here to the right and Matthew's birthday is on June 5th. All right, let's pick something. Happy to help, let's go to the mall. That's like me stealing Matt's like girl. Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's intersect because I want to date Matt instead. Oh shit! Is that Ricky? I've been found out. It did take some serious deduction on my part. Whoa, you finally learned to read? <laughs> nope, I'm just pressing random keys. It's a miracle. Oh my God, same. So what are you up to? Just being bored. The exact same, LOL. Oh, now what is this? My G string broke. Oh, on my guitar. Supposed to hang out with Anna later, but just being a bum till then. I'm just gonna say, sounds like fun. It should be us though, Matt. Me and you. 
forever. Speaking of her, I saw she wrote on your wall. Yeah, actually the thing about this game the entire time that is so weird to me is like, why aren't people messaging each other? Like, it is so obvious. It's June 2nd, June 2nd, and Matthew's birthday is June 5th. And she wrote, I kind of want to get something special for a certain someone on a certain day. Like, she's obviously talking about Matt. And just on my profile, like she could have messaged me. I'm going to pretend, I'm going to gaslight him. Okay, fine, but maybe you could do me a favor. Just like make sure she doesn't go overboard or something. I'll do it for a price. Let's try to get something out of him. And how much would that be? Let's just do five bucks. That's totally realistic. Maybe he'll give it to us. Oh, <laughs> we just made $5. <laughs> Honestly, what I want is just like a beach day with everyone on the Cape or something. Oh, love, love. Let's stalk Evelyn a little bit more. Like, I kind of want to like see what exactly she's been up to. Of course, she's got a picture with Steve, graduating with Steve, of course. I miss you, bestie. Like, this just makes me absolutely sick. This makes me sick. Evelyn gave a gift. Oh, this is sick. She's trying to be friends with Matt. Hell yeah, I've wanted to go for like weeks. We can skimboard, play chicken, all that dumb shit. Why is ice cream truck, question mark, an option? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that one. Oh shit. what's your favorite ice cream? <sighs> this part of the episode where the conversation is so dry. Would you believe Anna's never been to the Cape? Ooh, let's get a little bit of tea here. She seems into you, are you two a thing? Did you and her hook up? I'm going right in. <laughs> oh, he's typing and then he deleted it. Ooh. <gasps> oh! I mean, yeah, but we're not like dating or anything. So you're buddies. No, we're more than that. It's just like college is coming, labels suck. We're just having fun with each other now. It does make sense. I'm gonna be a good friend to Matt. What's this? New post on the feed. I see you, you think you being sneaky, but I see you. Hey, dumbass, shut up and let me pamper you. Hmm. Let's see what Matt's doing for college. Nope, whatever ends up happening is okay by me. It's just so much easier without labels and shit, you know? Yeah, I guess so. Guys, I'm really concerned about Emily. She's been away this whole time. I don't even see her on the feed. We need to go check up on her. I almost forgot what she looked like. I think I'll go to Boston. Okay. I'm gonna poke her. Let's poke. Oh, Kelly's still flirting with her. Wife, we did it. We're high school educated adults. Also, you looked so good in that gown today. Damn. Oh my God. Emily is away, more like Emily is gay. Ah, oh, and here, the, that's my wife. Aren't we the cutest? Who's that? Jeff. Jeff Fisher. I love you, Em. <gasps> oh! Oh! Is she? Are they? Oh, they are dating. Oh my God. Oh my God. Emily isn't gay. Maybe she's bi. What? Who is this? We, didn't, we don't even know what's going on in Emily's life. This whole game is named after her and we don't have a single clue what's going on in her life. Who are we supposed to rebound with? I don't know. We don't even know what's going. Jeff took us on a surprise picnic. What a cutie. Oh my, what is this? Let me just move my bang to get a closer look at this. What is this? How do we end up being the only single one at the end of this game? Oh, of course, Evelyn wrote on M's wall. Evelyn's trying to hang out with Emily now. Oh, someone in the chat said it's their faces. I see it now. Here's Emily's side bang. I did not see that at all though. When I was looking at it at first, I thought I was looking at something else. I don't even wanna, I don't wanna say. Someone in the chat, first time, Chatter. This is the first message they've ever sent. They said, date a teacher. <laughs> it's our only option. It is literally our only option at this point because I don't know, there's no one else left. All right, back to Matt. What is he saying? Enough about us. How about you? Got any secret admirers? Well, perfect time to ask Matt because we just found out that we have absolutely no options. Eva lame out to be ashamed of herself. Embarrassing. Eva lame. Oh, Kelly. I didn't even think about that. Kelly is an option, I guess, but we would really be doing Matt really dirty. And Matt has been a good friend. Oh, 
Now, what is this picture of Kelly? Kelly started an OnlyFans. Oh, she's swimming. <laughs> oh my God, she's swimming. These are supposed to be underwater pictures. Got an underwater camera. I did not think that at all. I just see these like, <laughs> these like bikini pics. What's this? It's finally over. Let's barbecue. Wow, I didn't get an invite to this. Everyone else got an invite except for me. Oh my God. I. I think I played the game wrong, you guys. This is so sad. Just staring at this private event that I'm not invited to. This is humiliating. How are you doing with all the Evelyn garbage? I mean, it still sucks, but whatever. Yeah, I can imagine. Has it gotten any easier? I'm gonna be philosophical. Time heals all wounds. I like still can't believe it went down like it did. Yeah, you're telling me, Matt. She obviously cheated on me. Did you see that her and Steve are like a thing now? Yeah, I thought that's what we were talking about, Matt. Yeah, I noticed. It fucking sucks. You and her still haven't talked since the breakup, right? Honestly, I don't know what I would even say. Maybe it'd be a good thing to try. Whoa, what would we even say? I don't know. I don't really want to talk to her. But hey, pretty soon we'll be out of this town and you'll be hooking up with people all over the place. I know, I'm gonna slay. Wait, why is that an option? There's no way anyone was saying this in 2009. I'm gonna absolutely slay. Ricky will be slaying. Peace. Finally, that dry ass conversation is over. Let me stalk Steve. Oh, I forgot I can't. He still has never accepted my friend request. This is so embarrassing. Hey, R. F Sorry, I didn't mean to press enter. No worries, it's okay. Can pretend it didn't happen. So you were just typing. Um, this is, I'm not gonna lie, this is really weird. <laughs> what should we do, guys? I, I don't wanna be toxic anymore. I think I'm gonna say two, because I really don't wanna talk to her. We can just pretend it didn't happen. See ya. Do we need to give Matthew a gift for his birthday? Oh yeah, we do. I know exactly what I'm gonna give Matt. Ugh, she messaged me again. No, I mean, I wanted to say hello. Uh, hello, Evelyn. Hmm, I wonder how Steve feels about this. Ricky, um, so like, how are you? I'm doing okay, Fucking peachy, I've been better. I honestly feel like two and three come off like I'm really doing not okay at all. So I'm just gonna say one. Also, I just have to point out Steve's status is officially high school edumacated. Ugh. Oh, what does this have to say? That's good. Look, I know this is the first time we've talked. Someone in the chat says, Jen, please be mean. I'm going to cry. Okay. Right. I'm sorry. This is just hard for me. What does she want to talk about? Like she could just say it, you know what? She's really like beating around the bush right now. Well, I'm not going to say sorry. What am I supposed to say sorry for? I didn't do anything wrong. I'll just say Say three, I'm sure it is hard. I feel like we need closure or something. Huh, what girl? I'm sorry, Evelyn, is being in a relationship with someone else not closure enough for you? She's literally fully in a new relationship and she's going back to her ex-boyfriend and saying, I, I don't know, I need closure. I don't need closure, maybe we do. I had enough drama, thanks. Also, yeah, she's speaking for us. She said, I feel like we need closure. I don't need closure. But maybe I still do. Okay, well, then that's a you problem, Evelyn. I just like need to know some things. Huh? I'm sorry, but she needs to know some things? Cause I'm pretty sure she's literally dating the person that I accused her of having a thing with. She's literally in a relationship with him. Excuse me, you need to know things? 
I'm sure you want to ask me stuff too. No! Oh my god, I really don't want to talk to her. What do we do? How do we block? How do we block? How do we block? So can we talk? I'm just gonna talk to her because I don't wanna say no f that. But I don't wanna say yes, please. So I'm just gonna say, I don't know. Ricky, please. I think it would be good for both of us. Evelyn, I just told you it's not good for me. Fine. I just wanna hear what she has to say. I'm I'll just pause for a second. This whole thing is so weird because if she really wanted to like say something to me, she could have just wrote it. You know, she could have just wrote the message and sent it. She didn't need to say like, I need closure, I need to talk, like all this stuff. Like she could have just sent the message. Sorry, I'm trying to find the words. Like just find them and send it. She really is so dramatic. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, I guess I really only have one question. Why? You guys, she's really out here asking me why I broke up with her when after I broke up with her, she dated the person I accused her of having a crush on. I'm gonna say think you know why. Literally, I think you know why. You're literally dating him. But even beyond that, you like cut me out of your life. I mean, I guess Steve, like I'm not gonna talk to you and you have a new boyfriend. Someone in the chat said, why does she even care she's in a relationship? Like kind of so true. Why does she even care? But there was nothing going on there. I was head over heels for you, Ricky. What? But she's... This is so weird. She's literally dating him. She says there is nothing going on there. <laughs> Imagine saying this to your ex when you're dating the person you're talking about. I'm going to make her feel bad. And I love you too, Evelyn. <laughs> Are you sure you threw us in the trash over a f***ing Facebook chat? You didn't even give a chance to fix things. Um... I don't want things fixed. She's literally dating him. I don't get it. How can you say that? Nothing ever happened. How is she saying all this when she's literally dating him? I would have done anything to save us, but you? Oh my God, she's in a different relationship. Just wondering, like, actual real question. Would you be upset if your significant other was messaging their ex these types of things while you guys were dating? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I'd be kind of, I'd be kind of upset. This is so weird. Um... I don't even know what to say. I don't want to like be in a relationship with her and she's already dating someone else. I just don't understand why we're talking. Oh, you're so right in the chat, Libby Rose. If you didn't have closure from your previous relationship, you don't get into a new one. So true, exactly. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm actually gobsmacked. Is that the word? <laughs> okay, just do one, okay. I just couldn't deal with it anymore, Addie K. Do you even realize how badly you fucked me up? Oh my God. I am literally gobsmacked. I am flabbergasted. I was hurt too, Evelyn. But you were the one who did it. Evelyn, you're dating him. You're dating him. Evelyn's literally dating him. I can't. All I did for a week straight was sleep and cry. And then when she was done sleeping and crying for a week straight, she got into a relationship with Steve. Should I say, honest, it's your fault. Literally, it's your fault. LOL, really? And what did I do? Oh yeah, I had a friendship that you felt threatened by. And now she's dating him. And now she's dating him. She's dating him. Like, okay, I, look, I get it if they never ended up dating and they really were friends, right? That, that would be my bad. That would really be my bad. That's, that would be toxic of me. But here we are, they're dating. They're dating. You have a selective memory. Tell the truth, it was more. A friend that wanted you. I'm saying two, cause they're dating. Tell the truth for once, Evelyn. He was more than that. Evelyn is in another dimension. <laughs> Not for me, and if it was more for him, then that's too bad. I would have never cheated on you in a million years. Why hasn't there been an option yet for me to say, but you guys are dating now? Like that could really just end the whole conversation, you know? But you you guys are dating now, so I don't get why we're talking. I wish I could message Steve so bad. I wish I could poke him like, hello, friend request pending, except there are different kinds of cheating, Evelyn. I said what I said. Whatever type of cheating you mean, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, here's finally our option. You're dating Steve right now. Let's see what she says to this. Oh, f***ing sue me for becoming involved with the one person who stuck by me through all this. Okay, well then you guys could be friends. 
<laughs> like what? Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I've never been more heated over a video game. Like this is literally a video game. These pixelated characters are pissing me the f off. No one was there for me when I couldn't get out of bed for days. Not Emily, not Matt, and definitely not you. We're exes. We're exes. Oh my God, it's actually not healthy for you to talk to your ex like when you guys break up. Like I shouldn't be the one to get you out of bed. Well, you can't expect that of me. This is crazy. And Emily is still away. <laughs> and Emily is still away. Are you really too blind to see that you overreacted? That you ended things without even giving us a chance? I did what I had to do. This is just crazy, you guys. Even with hindsight, you still think that. With hindsight, I definitely still think that because you're dating him now. If anything, with hindsight, I think it even more. I literally think it even more with hindsight. Like what? Does she even know what the word hindsight means? Oh my God, the chat wants me to do three so bad. I do it again. <laughs> wow. What do you mean, wow? <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm looking out for myself, Evelyn. Death to Evelyn. I can't believe that I ever felt love for you. Okay, Evelyn, being toxic. I'm gonna be the bigger person here. Goodbye, Ricky. She's offline. She's not even away, she's offline. Good riddance. Oh, f you, Evelyn. <laughs> Honestly, we ate that conversation. We bodied, we bodied, we dominated, we slayed, we destroyed, we absolutely destroyed. We won that, but here she is. She's trying to act like she won. Evelyn, good riddance. All right, Matt messaged me. Did Evelyn just talk to you? How does he know? She reached out, yeah. That's good. Matthew, she just wrote good riddance. <gasps> Matt, I gotta confess, I just told her she should message you. Huh? No. What? Why? Oh, honestly, why did he do that? Matt, I don't know, like, she just kept asking about you and I thought talking would be good. Oh, she was asking about me already? What did she say? She wanted closure, mostly she complained a lot. It was a lot. Honestly, it was a lot. I'm sorry. I just knew she had questions and I figured that you did too and I don't know. I don't have questions, Matt. Really, even I had questions. <laughs> All right, everyone's projecting in this game. I don't know, she just seemed truly f***ed up over what happened. Matt, are you on her side now? You're my best friend. If there's sides, I'm on yours. Okay, well, but like I can kind of understand her perspective. Huh? Doesn't make it right, enlightened. I honestly wanna know. Okay then, what's her perspective? I kind of see it this way, like to her, well, you kind of ended things based on how someone else was acting around her. Um, honestly, no. Uh, we didn't end things because of that. If I remember correctly, we were like asking about Steve and then her toxic behavior is why we decided to end things because she's being really toxic. So I'm gonna say the first one. No, I broke up with her because of how she was reacting to someone. But could you not have talked everything through? She told me she even offered to stop being friends with Steve didn't trust her, damage was already done, would have resented me. Um, this is crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm being gaslit. I'm gonna say damage was already done. But it wasn't over though, like clearly. I'm so confused. Look, I know I'm not a good source for relationship advice and I'm way out of my lane, but she fucking loved you, Ricky. She's dating someone else. Okay, I just, is everyone forgetting the fact that she's like in a new relationship now? It's just over, like, I don't know. Even if all this was true, like, she's dating someone else. So now it's kind of just like, well, it doesn't matter now, right? I loved her too, I guess. Me when I lie. Someone <laughs> in the chat said, he's being a bad bestie. You should f Kelly. <laughs> I was just hoping talking would help fix things. Well, it's not yours to fix, to be honest. Where's Lemony? Where's Lemony? Yeah, I guess. Are we good? Yeah, we are good. I don't wanna lose more people. <laughs> Good, cool. Ooh, <gasps> there's a new post. <laughs> Emily, here she is. As we go on, we remember all the times we had together. That was like the graduation song. Ooh, new post. <gasps> Ooh, new pics for Emily. We will still be friends forever. 
Maybe a little bit more than friends. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, their feet. Toes in the sand, head in the clouds. My bestie. Booty pick courtesy of wifey. Sunshine and tan lines. Poly icons. <laughs> Poly icons. Well, Anna's gonna be here soon. I should probably go. Later. All right, what's next? I'm so curious. Matthew plans to attend It's Finally Over Let's BBQ. I'm still not fing invited. <gasps> it's over? Is it really over, you guys? It's over? Please, you've gotta be kidding me. That's how it ends? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even get invited to the barbecue. Is this real? When I log out, is it really over? Oh my god, it's over for real. What the f What the f What the f Wait, that's the ending? <laughs> Why was that the ending? All right, wait, we actually get to see like what we got compared to other people. So let's see, you and 48% of players chose to go to Evelyn's party. So we we're in the, the smaller half. You and 47% encouraged Evelyn to befriend Emily again. What are these other options like? I can't even see what the other options would be. You and 69% did not tell Evelyn any rumors about Matt. You and 39% canceled plans in order to see Matt. You and 17% talked to Steve when signed in as Matt. I wish I could see the other options here. Looks like we were the, <laughs> in the smallest majority here. You and 2.4% chose to break up over Steve, no! No, oh, or and or. Oh my God, you and 0.9% got this ending. Wait, first of all, there's three, six, nine different endings. We didn't get the least gotten ending, but pretty much the other options are 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 3.8, 7, 32, 30, 4.4. I think I, I think I, I think I lost. But we did get a rare ending. <laughs> we got a rare ending. There's no way. There's no way. Everyone went to the fucking party without me. Evelyn and Emily being Evelyn and Emily. Oh, they're best friends again. <laughs> Everyone is... I got exiled from the friend group. done a little dirty if I'm to be honest final thoughts I think I got done just a little bit dirty no one seems to agree with the fact that it was a little suspicious how I was sus of Steve and then they ended up dating Steve Evelyn ended up dating Steve like is no one putting two and two together here like listen I I get it in in part four of the series I was extremely toxic and you know I did it for fun I did it for fun, I did it for entertainment, and I have no regrets. But in part five, when we find out that she did end up dating Steve, I just don't get why, like, I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling gaslit. I'm just, I'm just shocked. I really, <laughs> I really am shocked. We did some gaslighting in part four, and then just got gaslit in part five, and then it was over, and we lost all our friends. I have no words. Well, you guys, that was the end of the series. 
I really would love to hear your thoughts. I really would. I know some of you guys were upset about my toxic behavior in part four, but you know, I had to bring the spice. And now that you see what happened in the end, I would just love to hear your thoughts. I really would love to hear what you think. I'm just so shocked that that's the ending I got. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I will see you guys next time.